Yo, what's going on, Leafer Nation? It's Leafer back again, and welcome back to episode 9 of Monopoly Hut. It has been a hot minute since our last episode, so we are ready to hop back in, and man, we are going to start regularly rolling out content with Monopoly Hut here. So, just to catch up with everything since it has been a hot minute, looking at Hut, there's Hut Rivals now. Don't think we're gonna touch that, I think we're gonna stick with online seasons. While it's still in it. If you guys want me to switch to Hut Rivals, I can. Um, but I don't know how that would work. Especially with a really bad team that I have. So for now, we'll stick with Divisions. We are now in Div 7. Uh, we are 2-0-0. Still have a perfect record going, by the way. If you guys did not know. We have a couple um, objectives or milestones that we did complete. Uh, so 1,000 coins for completing a fifth, uh, 50 objectives. So that'll give us 37k and a thousand coins for opening up 20 daily reward packs which will give us 38k so we have a lot of coins to work with um so besides that the team's looking the same everything's good so i think we are ready to head to the board roll the dice and hopefully land on buy any player or open up packs so let's see what happens here all right guys we're at the random dice generator so here we go first roll of the episode and we get a 10. all right guys so a 10 is open up special packs and that is the first time ever this series that we uh, got that. And we have some decent special packs out. Uh, I think we're going to stay away from the heavy hitters. We're going to go ahead with a premium players pack. Now, it does say special packs. It doesn't specify how many. They're 450 points. I say we go with two. Um, yeah, so we're going to go with two of these bad boys. And we roll a double, which means we get to roll again. So let me go quickly do that right now. And roll number two here. We get a... Eight. All right, guys, so eight is open up one premium pack. So we have three packs to open, two big boys. We're going to go ahead and open. But, boys, before we do that, we got some very good content that just got released here. We had a very good team of the week with an 89 Pedersen, 88 Besser. Those two cards would be great. There's a 90 Matthews out. So let's pull him, all right? That's what we're looking for here. So we're going to go with the premium pack first and then the two premium players pack. So here we go. First one out of the way. We are spending some points this episode, but it is fine because I feel like we're going to get something good today to upgrade the team. So let's see. We get a Mark Friedman, Ricard Raquel. Not too bad. He might make the team. Uh, we'll see. That's a gold tint. Not bad. 81 overall. Um, there could be a spot for him. Is there anything else left in this pack of Paul Stastny? Doubt he makes a team, but a decent card. And that is it. So. Not a bad premium pack, to be fair. Now we move to this big premium players pack. Uh, Probability-wise, 5.9%. So basically 6% and an 86-plus player. Not too bad here. We get two of these. All right, boys. So here we go. 900 points all together for this. <sighs> two guaranteed 80-plus overalls. Who are they going to be? Chris Letang. Not bad. 82 overall. We needed an upgrade to our right side. And we get a Chris Letang. Very good card. Shout out to my boy Mark. You know who you are. You told me next time I pull a Penguins player to call you out. There you go, all right? We got one more 80-plus overall here. So we got Letang. Okay. One more 80-plus. Make it a purple tint, all right? Here we go. Chris Connor. Brock Besser. <gasps> no. Besser has an 88 overall team of the week card out right now. Don't get me wrong, it's still a good pull, but he has an 89 team of the week or 88, whatever it was. Feels bad. We pull his base, still a good card. We do pull a team of the week. Probably will make the team, but not a bad premium players pack. All right, last pack before we go and upgrade the team with the players we have pulled and hop into a game. So here we go. Let's pull something bigger than an 82. Here, John Tavares. There it is. 85 overall that's my captain john tavares whoo there's that purple tint we were looking for johnny t um not the fastest card he has a very good shot very good face offs that might be our first line center now john tavares welcome to the team that is a big pull for us our first purple tint of the series i'm pretty sure john tavares and then a shane gosses bear all right so these packs are juiced clearly oscar cleft bomb but hey, you know what? We are happy with it. Tevu Teravine, and man, these packs are amazing. We have some big upgrades to make now. Woo! Let's go make them. All right, guys. So some big upgrades made to the team. John Tavares is now our first line center. We have a new look 
first line besides Phil Kessel. So he has some new teammates playing with him with John Tavares and Tevu Teravine. And the third line does, or the second line does not stay the same. Sean Monaghan will now uh, be in place of William Carlson. He'll be playing alongside Braden Point and Adrian Kempe. The God line has been split up, but hey, we'll see how Monaghan does. Um, now the third line is looking different as well. Brock Ambassador, who we did pull playing with William Carlson and Evander Kane. And then our fourth line, Kyle Terris, Charlie Coyle, and Jeff Skinner. And then on the defensive end of things, we did pot in Chris Latang on the right-hand side. So our defense looking much better. And Gossip Spare took place of Jake Muzzin. Sadly, Muzzin had to be replaced, but we got a young Shane Gossip Spare in his place. All right, guys. Without further ado, it is time to head into game number one and hopefully pull out a win. All right, guys. First game of the episode. We're looking to keep our perfect record alive. So let's go ahead, play our game, and we should be fine. Tavares' first episode here, first game of the series. Let's see what he can do. Oh no, that's gonna be, a, what a save. I thought that was gonna go in. Peck, or not Peck Arena, but Brosky with a huge save. Klingberg again, he's having himself a shift. That's a penalty, Tavares take a shot. Big save from Dubnik. Here we go, big power play here. Great for sure from Tavares. Cannot complain about him so far. Here we go. Get that across. John Tavares in his debut episode. Pots one into the back of the net on the power play. 1-0. That's my boy Johnny T. Captain Johnny. Saying Captain Johnny felt pretty good. We might have to make him the captain of our hut team. Something to consider here, boys. Let's go, Coyle. Here we go. Charlie Coyle. That's a penalty shot. Here we go, Charlie. Let's finish it here. I feel like he'll quit if I score this. Here we go, Charlie Coyle. No, he... Wow, that was poor. What a poor effort by myself, man. A chance to go up by two. And we shot it right where he slid. Unfortunate stuff. He just picked that up weird. There you go, big move. Ryan Suter to Jeff Skinner. 2 nothing on the 4-on-4. Four -four. Penalty troubles for both of us. We're able to get up by two. Let's go, Jeff Skinner. To Monahan, make that three nothing and a power play on top of that. We are dominating right now. Adrian Kempe. Oh, Tavares was just not a step there. It's another trip from this guy. Get that across. Make that four nothing. Tavares with his second point of the night. It's, it. I don't know what to even say at this point. It's four nothing in the first, and he reached quit towards the end of the first okay uh was not expecting him to quit there out of all places but hey we'll take the w two points secured in the bag we stay in division seven three you know keeping the perfect record alive you know the same as usual we love seeing that we complete an objective which should, should be some coins and looking at the stats man i mean he had 10 minutes of penalty troubles um that's what killed him we'll take the win though a nice four nothing dub to keep the perfect record alive. With that being said, it is time to head back to the board and roll the dice again. We got lucky our first roll, get in those special packs and a double. So here we go, second or technically third roll of the episode and we get an eight. Okay, so an eight is open up five premium packs and we rolled a double, meaning we get another roll. So let's head back to the dice. So here we go, rolling the dice, hopefully for the last time and we get a five. So five is open up one premium pack, so we have six count them six premium packs open we're heading to the store right now to open them and we're hoping for something good we also pass go you guys were saying for it to be like buy any player or uh open up a pack i'm not gonna do anything this episode let me know what you guys want me to do when i pass go in the next uh episodes to come all right boys so six of these packs to open man we're hoping for something big here six packs is a lot of packs and a lot of chances to pull something good even though these premium packs are absolute garbage so here we go david perron uh that's a double we're not going to be able to use him anything towards the back of the pack here i highly doubt it yeah what i'm expecting from the rest of these packs all right we got five more to go we're going to do the skip method here here we go we're just going to skip the animation and reveal all and a Travis Konechny, um, and that's about it. Yeah, like I said, I'm not expecting too much of these packs. That's why I did the skip method. I usually don't do it, but I, I have a feeling I'm not gonna get anything from these packs. Uh, we'll, we'll go through this one though, but I highly doubt we pull anything, sadly. These packs have just been so rough since um, 
you know the first couple of weeks the game has dropped they really don't give out and uh it kind of sucks we got three more to go here uh i don't want to skip the rest because i feel like that's kind of lame we're gonna skip this one though reveal all and ooh, dustin bufflin even though he has an 85 overall card out right now that is a good pull i think he will make the team actually he's a big body that we need back there on the right side of our defensive core uh we will take a dustin bufflin and a thousand coins not bad we're now above forty thousand coins two more to go here 40k coins we like the way that looks man again we're getting so lucky with not hitting bankrupt with this amount of coins in our bank account it's very scary having these coins uh for this long here calvin de honda we use him obviously he will make the team um anything towards the back of the pack potentially no and last but not least the very last pack here we're gonna skip this one uh just because so here we go reveal all oh there's something towards the back what is it going to be Ooh, alex petrangelo not too bad we might not even use dustin bufflin now 83 petrangelo a very good card those six packs were very good, I'm not going to lie. For premium packs, not bad. Bufflin and Petrangelo, not too bad. I think, no, he doesn't have any special card out. That would have sucked. But hey, an 83 Petrangelo, we will take it. Now looking at my defensive core, um, Dustin Bufflin would be good to have in here. But uh, I think Klingberg is just a better card than him. So is Chris Letang. And obviously Petrangelo um, is going to be better than him. So right now we are getting rid of Matt Niskanen and we're putting Petrangelo into the lineup. Bang, Petrangelo, welcome to the team. Obviously, he will be playing first line minutes um, with Morgan Riley. And we'll have Chris Letang playing third line minutes with Shane Goss to spare. Actually, looking at sizes of height, 6'2", 6'2" and six feet with 511 uh, i don't want to have two small guys playing together especially with bumps being the way they are we're gonna play chris letang with uh ryan Suter and then klingberg with goss spare to throw the height around the lineup with that being said it is time to head into game number two and hopefully we can get another rage quit that'd be pretty cool actually all right second game of the episode and like i said we are looking to get another rage quit because why not rage quits are fun as fuck so Hopefully that happens. If not, let's play a good game and obviously come out with another W. By the way, John Tavares had the debut of his life last game. A goal and an assist, which was great. Forgot to mention that. I'm really thinking about naming him the captain. Let me know what you guys think about that. But here we go. Game number two, and it looks like he's a decent team. Oh no, Petrangelo's debut. Turning it over where it hurts, but a big save coming up from Bob. Oh no, he dodged that hit, and what a snipe on Bobrovsky. Not the first shift we wanted. Drew N has a hell of a shot. Jesus, and we're down 1 0 early. Hate to see it. Let's set something up here. Get that across. Suter just robbing Carlson of a goal there, because I was going in if he shot that. That's a penalty. Surely that's a penalty. It is. Okay, I was going to say, man. Across. Carlson, you get this over buff. Yes. Coil back to Carlson. What a play. Five on three. We need to convert here. Tavares. Get that. There we go. What a save by Rask. I believe that's Rask. And Ned, I was switching players. Tavares. John Tavares. I am in love with his card. That's his second in two games. Tying us at one. Let's go, Johnny T. Captain Johnny. Potential Captain Johnny. Petrangelo. There you go. Make a nice move to Coil. Make that 2-1. Let's go, baby. Charlie Coil putting us up for the first time this game. Let's go. Here we go, Gosses Bear. Get out of my way when I'm skating. And there it is. We just got robbed. Ah, uh, what a dumb play by me. I had no passing option. I don't like holding the puck. We play it right to him and... He ties it up. Not too happy with it. Not too happy with the way that period ended. I should still be up by one. He did dunk on me. That is my fault for making a stupid pass out with my goalie. Looking at the stats, I mean, I'm playing a little bit better than him. Um, if we keep it up, we should be fine. I'm not too worried, to be honest. Why is no one on the boards to help Latang with the break out there, man? Holy crap. My team is just not playing hockey right now. What a player. Oh, dude. 
We're down by two, man. Never give up, but like, I don't know. It's not looking good the way I'm getting rammed this game. Here we go. There it is. We're not scoring again this game. We're not scoring again this game. The way Rask just robbed me like that, we're not scoring again this game. Mark my fucking words. What a joke. Well, we're on the verge of losing our first ever game of the series. I hope that isn't the case. I have faith in this team. I have faith in myself to come back in this. Shoot that. Let's go. There we go. One more to tie it up, boys. I have faith. Like I said, let's go. Where's my defense? What the fuck? Uh, hold up, man. I'm not, I'm not having none of that. What did I just see Kane do? Look, instead of playing defense, this guy stops up. Why? Oh my god, man. This game sometimes, dude, makes no sense to me what what they're thinking with this game. Okay, okay. 22.7 seconds here. Good goal by William Carlson. That's his second of the game. We still have a chance here. We need a face-off win, though. Or our dreams are broken. Oh, we lose the fucking perfect record. To the luckiest kid I think I've played all year. Well, no confirmation of the points. That's the first time saying that that series. Our first regulation loss. Our first loss in general, man. Say I'm heated is an understatement. I am a fuming. I don't believe I deserve to lose that game whatsoever. It is what it is. I, I dug my own grave when I was up 2-1 and gave him the puck to dunk on me. But, uh, I don't know. I don't believe I deserve to lose that game, but... EA had different plans than I did. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this Monopoly HUD episode. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy the episode. If you guys did, be sure to drop a like on it. And uh, let me know in the comments down below how much you're enjoying the series. And uh, let me know what to do with uh, what, when we pass go, what we should do with that whole scenario. Um, if you guys are new around here, make sure to hit that sub button. We are on the road to 2.5K subscribers. We're getting close. The support you guys have been showing me this year has been unreal. And honestly, I cannot thank you guys enough. So, thank you. Anyways, guys, that's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I'll talk to you guys later. Peace!